That one I didn't screen. I just I just shot it from the yeah, side. Yeah, that shot me. That shot um, me. That that caught me off guard. So here we are. We're back um, from our ninth hiatus of the year. Um, Halloween of last year. Of last year. Not the movie. No. The holiday. Yes. Time of year. A mindset, perhaps. The thirty first of October, um, if you will. But we don't want to keep. We want to keep this snappy. We want to have the. Subway Surfer gameplay on the side. We got to keep this stimulating, adrenaline filled, and keep those dopamines flying because people don't like when we get too upsetting. Um, or no, what or did he, what, did he, what did the comment say? Oh, I thought it was that we yakking. were yakking. Yakking. Okay. Was it yeah. yakking? Well, Who yakking cares? has kind of a negative thing to it. So, uh, speaking of negative, we saw a pretty negative movie in terms of colors because there weren't. It was pretty dark. <laughs> You're um, really trying. You're I, I tried here. to. I tried. We're rusty. But, we, haven't, um, we haven't podcasted in in months, so we, we're a little rusty. We saw the new Evil Dead. It well, was good. We not only saw the new Evil Dead. We said, "Hey, let's watch the last one. Why don't we watch the last one as well?" Yes. Before we, and I don't think you need to watch the original trilogy anymore because you probably <sighs> see them a hundred times. But oh, I thought you were talking to the to the no 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 the, no. I'm the saying you. Home. Luke does not need a That's refresher me. on no. the on the original trilogy. Listen, there there are a few things that I know very well, and and the Evil Dead series is on that list. I was thinking um, while we were watching the new one and how much I was enjoying it mm-hmm. because I really just to get this out of the way, sure. really enjoyed this movie. So that guy who doesn't like the yakking uh, can yak. Yeah, he himself. can yak. <laughs> He can ride a yak off a fucking cliff. He can yak right out of here. Um, I hope um, he yaks his yak right off his crotch. <laughs> I don't know. You're getting mad. Uh, I was thinking, I was like, man, is Evil Dead up there in like my favorite franchises? And then I started thinking about all of the franchises, and it's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> what a buildup. You know why? Because I don't have a tattoo of the Evil Dead on my body. Yeah, only lame people would yeah. do that. I don't know anyone um, who's done that, but... If, I, I have to if disagree. If you were to sit across from me at a table, I'd be like, hey, you're probably a big Some fan. Some idiot probably has done that. Something so stupid as to get an evil dad. I think it's pretty cool. Tattoo. Um, YouTube.com slash confused reviews. <laughs> um, but no, Evil Dead is one of my favorite series. I actually think, thinking about it, I don't think there's a series where I I don't not like a movie in it. And and Evil Dead's on that list. I what? like everything they've, they've done from, from the original in 1981, all the way to Evil Dead Rise, the you movie that we will eventually though. talk about in 25 yes, more minutes. Yes, we will. Uh, you surprised me, though, because oh. you told me that uh, you ranked out your movies okay. of the series. and well, Mentally, you, I haven't really yeah. put it to paper. No, no, no. A full... you were just in conversation, you said, yeah, sure. this is where this falls. And I was like, wow, the original movie is not where I would have expected it mm-hmm. to be, which is fantastic. But um, we don't have to talk about that until the end, because I do want to see where this movie ranks. Mm-hmm. Finally, in 2023, we got a new Evil Dead movie yes. called Evil Dead well, Rise. Okay, so as a fan, I have been following this movie pretty closely. Um, I've been excited for it because for the longest time, I didn't know much about it. Did anyone um, besides that it was going to be gory? Well, yeah, no. Uh, and here's something I've been sitting on I didn't want to tell you until oh, we, we got to this moment I here. I love spoilers. Um, this movie was going to be an HBO Max exclusive. Shut I know, up, I know. Dude. Can you believe it? Um, but guess what? It test screened really well, well so they went. Of course it did. Let's oh, let's put the movie we made for the movie theater in the movie theater. Imagine that. I can't. I really would be honestly. I would be really upset if they did that. Mm-hmm. And here's why: if you haven't heard us review it, go listen to it now. <laughs> we listened to Hel- or we watched Hellraiser, which we was did. which was a Hulu movie. That's that, a movie that came out. That should have been in the theater. You know what else we did uh, an episode on uh, that's also a Hulu movie? Damn was right. Prey. Prey, yeah. And that should have been in the theaters as well. So Absolutely. I would have been really bummed out if this movie. No, I, I'm very to happy HBO. to have seen um, the Evil Dead Rise movie in the theater because, like I had mentioned to you also today, um, 10 years ago was the last time an Evil Dead movie came out uh, with, with the 
awesome title of just Evil Dead. Um, very creative F- and fun. Hurt me. Um, hurt me. It's to been, think it's been ten that. years, and I had to sneak in before, and now I'm. I just can't now I'm believe a big boy that. And I ten can, years ago you had to. Now sneak I can get the senior in. discount. Ugh. Um, and then we can go to Denny's after for a couple of grand slams. Well, we you do like the Luke discount as well. So well, you, you've only been doing that since you were twelve years old. You have to be on the inner circle to know what that means. Absolutely. What did you think about the uh, story of this movie? Because I have an opinion on it, and I want to hear yours first before okay. I, I say it. Well, but. these movies aren't very uh, story heavy. These definitely aren't you know deep, well written uh, bits of Shakespearean uh, tourism. Um, they're definitely more you know. Loosey goosey with the rules. It's more let's do some fun stuff. Let's have some people get possessed. But I really liked this one um, because I even bent over to you while we were watching it because um, they kept doing a lot of religious stuff more yeah. so than the other movies do. Yeah, uh, a lot of a lot of deep cutting satire and social commentary, which everyone loves the fun uh, of, of that stuff right. in their in their gory splatter movies. Um, which I no, I, I I'm I'm being a little facetious, of course, and sarcastic, but I did enjoy that because um, it wasn't like religion bad. Blah. Yeah, it was yeah, it yeah. was just like evil can't uh, evil's coming for you, and you can't <laughs> save. Evil dies tonight. <laughs> evil dies tonight. Oh man, so um, didn't like the story. Okay. In this, uh, we just like I said, we just watched thirteen. We literally watched Evil Dead thirteen, and then mm-hmm. went to the theaters yes. right after. So. Uh, a lot was, of blood for was, one afternoon. It sure was, but there was a the story in thirteen was fresh in my mind, and the only thing that I could think about was because like, we had just seen it, right? Um, Otherwise, you would for, have forgotten. Had forgotten you're completely forgot because I'm a senile old, old man. Uh, but I just thought that there was a bit of a, a little a little bit of like connection with everything in this in this movie. Like we knew about the characters; it was established immediately yeah. that we had a drug addict, mm-hmm. we had a nurse. We had the stoner friend, Mm -hmm. you know, we had the supportive uh, brother and then the ditzy blonde and they all had like this, okay, real quick background, but now we know where it's going Mm -hmm. and then the possession starts. That was cool. This movie was just like, mom, uh, kids, DJ kid. Uh, pizza. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, listen. Oh, uh, by the way, spoilers. Everyone from had here their gimmick. Uh, that's. I mean, these movies always have very little time to get these things. I, I agree. Cooking. I just think it was established mm-hmm. poorly. However, I do want to say you mentioned the religious thing. They make mention in there again. Spoiler alert from here on out. So get off if you haven't seen it. Um, it was good. It was a good movie. The. It's what you you would expect from an evil evil dead absolutely uh, movie. The mention in the religious texts and in the records that they were listening to of mm-hmm. the three known book of the dead, and there was only two previously discovered, mm. which is really cool because you never. I uh, Tasha's not here today, obviously, but Who's she that? she always my fiance. Um, she always asked me like. Are all these movies connected? Mm-hmm. And I use the Luke explanation. Kinda. They, they exist. They kinda in the same realm. Because th- listen, I, I we can do the the quick recap on on these movies. Essentially, it was these these they're connected just by happenstance because these movies just kind of keep evolving and they always have. Second one's just the same movie. For half of it, and then we with with more money, and then we do some more fun stuff, and then third one's completely off the rails as an action comedy with some horror stuff in it. Then the the remake is is hardcore balls to the walls gore from front <laughs> to back, and then Ash versus Evil Dead is a little it's a little flavor taste of everything, and is a lot of fun. And then this one kind of it, it I wouldn't it's definitely not as hardcore as 2013. No, it is um, not. Um, it, it definitely I would say it's it's. Because the first Evil Dead is is closer to a fucking snuff film um, made by crazy <laughs> people um, than it is like a serious, you know, it's not like Saw in that term, in, in terms of like that level of like yeah. independent filmmaking. This was like serious low budget, serious like just throwing everything we can at the wall, see what sticks. Essentially one crazy person getting it done with some even crazier people who stuck around to finish yeah. it. And the one thing that always sticks out with me as yeah. you explain the snuff portion of it is trying to find creative ways to get the shots that they needed mm-hmm. because they didn't have the money for a crane. You know, if they, they found dead bodies, they would have wound up in the movie. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but I just love that that scene where the camera goes through the window. Yeah. You know, and that was hooked up to what, like a two by four or whatever yeah, it, it was. It was it was as you know, and uh, let's get as 
ingenuity use all yeah. our ingenuity yeah. um that we that we've got all, all literally every dollar and and blood sweat and a lot of blood and, and a lot of more blood yeah and now i think with the age of the technology that we have we get it's it's not hard to get the shots that we want it's hard to find the shots that we want like in in movie creation you know and i'll give you the example the one shot that stuck out to me in this movie was the bath Mm. where it's like half submerged and you can see under the water and you can see above the water and then she sticks her hands in and it's like this weird like you know mirrored image i guarantee they were like we need a creative shot Mm -hmm. let's figure out what we can do with these these cameras because you have a gopro that's fucking the size of the palm of your hand that can shoot in 1040 yeah you know or 1080 i mean and that's what they're doing you know 40 years ago sure it was a little different with, with the first gopro from yeah 40 years ago. <laughs> yeah it was a little different but yeah. i really i really liked that Well, because that's the sam raimi staple is, is is every one of those evil dead movies has all those crazy you know dutch angles really quick zoom in zoom outs right. insert shots galore and that's I, I i made a comment of that as well great insert shots in this movie i, I love when when you get in there and you get those sound effects and it's just whoosh, 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 I, I like sounds. that really yeah. kind of quick pacing as well. It really keeps the action fresh. It really, I, I don't like when a movie's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Well, and, and I think that that's where the downfall of 13 is. The The sound effects, although when they are used like yeah. that, are very interesting. It's, it's, it's definitely but, more product of its time. Yeah, that, that was really big. there, though, you know, um, in 13. Mm-hmm. It's just loud. Very loud. This movie had those sound effects. Mm -hmm. The sliding of the scissors, the Mm -hmm. snipping of the scissors, the tattoo gun. Sure, sure. There was a lot of that stuff. But it was well mixed. And it was well mixed. Thank God. We we rewatched 2013... Uh, and we kept having to do the old school, and this is a this is an old this is showing our age yeah. here. Uh, when the TV program you were watching was one volume, and then it would cut to commercial, and it was a thousand percent higher. Yeah, and, and we did that a lot. Yeah, it, I was, there was constantly a lot of up and down in the volume. Uh huh. Big old I just, fucking oof. Yeah, uh, I think that this mo- like you had mentioned, is not as insane as crazy mm-hmm. balls to the wall with the stuff. Yeah. that 13 did however mm-hmm. i think it really was it, it it made it more fun it had yeah. that balance between you know two mm-hmm. and uh army of darkness well that's what that's what, what, I, mean? what I, I had mentioned earlier was like 13 13 they wanted the was, horror was closer to the gritty original and not only you know it had a budget but it was also we have a blueprint of what does and doesn't work. Improve on it. We don't need to worry about doing Ash again, which was a great call. We've continued over that into Evil Dead Rise. I really respect that. They, 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 they've they managed to restrain it. And I'm sure as soon as one of the three out of Rob Tappert, Bruce Campbell, or Sam Raimi dies, you bet your sweet ass some uh, Timothy Chalamet is going to play Ash Williams in the yeah. reboot. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's already playing Wonka. Why wouldn't he play? If, why, who, who cares? Tom yeah. Holland will do it. Why not? Um, could you imagine? Could yeah. you imagine Tom Holland he gets hard with a up ch- enough. chainsaw on his hand? But anywho, oh my god, um, don't get me started. But that's the thing is is both 2013 and now Evil Dead Rise introduced two great, worthy contenders in terms of you know great protagonists. And I haven't played the Evil Dead game, um, but everyone I've talked to that that has, um, including maybe uh, you know Big V over there, will weigh in <laughs> after this. Um, it's nice because they don't know the names of the characters, but you know people I'll talk to and friends and whatnot will say, "I like playing as as this guy and 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 this girl," and and I'm and I'm like describe them and they'll you know give me a little bit and I'm like, "Oh, okay, so you're talking about Kelly or Mia and all exactly. this great stuff." Um, so maybe we'll have to do another episode on the game. But there's several games too. Oh, there are several games. There's like games that came out in the '90s and the early 2000s as well. Well, I'm definitely talking about the new one. I know you are, but I'm <laughs> saying like we could we could talk about a lot of that stuff. Yeah, for sure. I was just trying to find an article, and I know I mentioned this to you earlier, and you said don't even fucking give me hope like that because I don't want to hear it. But I read something that said that um, Raimi and uh, whomever else directed this movie, Lee Cronin. Cronin, yeah. He um, wrote and directed it. He wrote and directed it. Okay. He, in an interview, I believe it was with them, so mm-hmm. take it with a grain of salt, saying that they were already interested in having some crossover work going on where we would see, um, you know, Beth, who is the main character in this story, crossover. Auntie Beth. Yeah, Auntie Beth, crossover with, um, you know, maybe, what was the gal's name in the, in the 13th? Thank you. 
I was drawing a blank. I just said it. I know. I'm drawing a blank. Because I was trying to find that goddamn fun article. Fun fact, the five main characters in 2013, first letters of their name spelled demon. Ooh, that's cool. I like Spooky, that. scary skeletons. Yeah, I like that. But anyways, that would be cool to see a crossover, especially if we get... Uh, in what, though? A movie? Like, what? what well, do so we this need is why to see was... these people cross over? That's the thing. Here's what I was going to say earlier, though, and this is what I'm, like, amped up on. Okay. And you're going to judge me because you always do on this kind of oh, stuff. Yeah. I love the multiverse, expanded universe kind of stuff. I, you lo- know? I love the keys jangled in front of my face. I, I love I seeing it. things I know. I clap for yes. products that That's I've already Chewbacca. seen. That's I'm, I'm emotionally connected you remember to things from my childhood and I can't let them go. That's where I'm at. So I love seeing these things come back. I love 75-year-old Michael Keaton coming back to play Batman. I'm going to love... When, I, I cannot fucking wait for Tobey Maguire to be 95 years old with a walker having played Spider-Man 97 times. He'll be Uncle Ben. He'll be, he'll, be, he'll, be, he'll be the next nine Uncle Ben's when they finally do a live action Miles Morales and 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 Donald Glover is de-aged because he's also 107 and and they'll finally let him play Spider-Man I love these things but anyway back to I, Evil Dead I say you done bullying me sorry there's a mention in the record that should get clipped I, I that would be it's, great there, there's your short for the day my um, cynical the the records that I mentioned earlier, they mentioned the three books of the dead, yeah. and two had been discovered, and then this is now the one that, yeah. that was. Where's that third one then? That was the third one. Oh, okay, okay. I, the, the, yeah, the original trilogy, and then 13, the Necronomicon, the thirteen, and now and gotcha, now this okay. one. Okay. Well, because I like that. I like how they're all different too. Right. Me too. And that's what I'm saying. I would like to see those other characters come in. Maybe a scream esque kind of situation. They're like, oh fuck, we've dealt with this shit too. Yeah. And then they deal with it all over. I would again. love if Sidney Prescott right. came into Evil Dead. <laughs> uh, I, well, obviously, so would I. <laughs> but um, no, my point is though, is that like we have a little girl who survived in this movie who is yes. all about, you know, killing her fucking mom through a uh, wood chipper. Because well, I don't think she was. I don't think she, she was, was all about it. She's like, "You're not my mom anymore. Let's kill this bitch." And even Auntie, I don't think she was happy about it. No, but she, she was thrilled. She was clapping. She did. She, she clapped she like clapped. she saw yep. Ash come out of she a was, time portal. She was to ready fight. for it. Oh dear. But I don't. I don't even think that these are multi, like alternate universes. I no, think it's the same universe. Just a, it's just different a events. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I'm saying. There would be a great crossover. And I like the that. teeth on the book. That oh, was really man. fun. This book was great. And I I leaned over and you told did? you in the theater, this is the first book that we've seen that the pages actually look like flesh. Bound in flesh and inked in blood. And yeah. you hear that in every one, but every one looks like a cheap you yeah, know, paper like, book, which is fine. Yeah, I mean, that's totally I, cool. Listen. We have movies, imaginations. Exactly. The movies are silly <laughs> at the end of the day. Like, come on. They're, they're, they're ludicrous. They're ridiculous. They're fun. Yeah, but absolutely. Like, um, and that's like I, I really like the thirteen movie for going all the way, and this one I also really like for kind of finding that nice balance. I really like how they clearly took their time to find a a passionate visionary, you know, person to put behind the camera right. who understands these movies, likes them, and was able to take the you know foundations or whatever the fuck and take it to a new location and make it a really fucking interesting movie we're done with the cabin we got a little bit at the beginning you know just to sprinkle in a little tease yep. get us back in there and then we take it somewhere new we didn't go to fucking space or do something ridiculous yeah and it wasn't about family um it's all well it's always about family <laughs> it's always about family. that's what's so powerful i actually about it. hated the fact that there was that intro again with this movie that's what i said with 13 there's always that you gotta you gotta keep Everyone's stimulated. Yeah, you can't just You're ease right. in the movies. I get that. And I imagine if The Shining was released today, and there's an hour and a half where nothing happens. Oh man, yeah, people would freak. It's, there would it's be an riots hour and a half in the streets. An axe go through a fucking door. A, a quiet intro sequence where where they're just driving through the mountains. I didn't hear one jump scare. Oh man, I know. And speaking of The Shining, talk about some fucking homages yeah, to the I, classic horror films. We got a lot of classic homages. I, I was getting Psycho. Yes. I got Elm Street 5. Which a was, lot of Elm Street 5. You got excited about that, too, because I know you're very passionate about your Freddy. I love Freddy. And because I, I, my exact Speaking quote. Of the devil. Right well, because this is New Line. New Line hasn't owned. I, New Line distributed the original in, in like, 83 or whatever. Okay. So a couple years after it, like, initially released. And yeah. it kind of. Because that was another, like slow burn before it came really big and then because 81 to 87 was evil dead 2 um but yeah this was this was really uh i, I kind of lost my train of thought where was i going with that you were talking about dream child 
Oh, yeah. So I, I really liked that. My exact quote for this movie is, what if dream child but good? Yes. Because um, we got a lot of stuff with mothers, uh, having babies, what is it to be a mom, and, and how it, it fucking sucks, and yeah. it's a lot of work. So uh, cheers to all the moms out there real quick. Uh, this one's to you. Love my um, mama. I, I, I love my mama, and I love all of your mamas in the bed. <laughs> um, but, yeah, there was a lot of that good stuff here. Um, we got a nice little scene at the beginning establishing that Auntie Beth is going to be uh, oh, mama. squirting out some little nieces or nephews um, in the coming future. Oh, yeah, and I do like the homage to that, too, yeah. where there was like, oh, two souls. Mm-hmm. That was neat. Yeah, that was good. Well, because that's the thing is like these things obviously, you know, swallow this and all the, they're they're goofy lines and stuff. But like they also it wasn't. This wasn't the Rise of Skywalker. It wasn't yeah. like there were there were little winks and nods, if you know, but it doesn't like stop the movie to be like. Duh, 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 duh. We didn't see a car or a Jeep Wrangler. I'm sure there's. That... A, I'm sure there's a. I'm sure the Delta's there somewhere. Yeah, we ju- we'll find we it. We just missed it. I'm sure that's fine. Uh, it was like th- in the back of the wood chipper or some bullshit. Sure. It'll be somewhere. I the only thing that I um, was thinking about for thirteen that is more of a callback or a reference was um, when she's in the cellar and she was like, your mother sucks cocks in hell, yeah. which is obviously a, a nice callback a, a to little the... little exorcism. Um, yeah, the exorcist. Uh, which is finally getting a remake soon. Who cares? For Christ's sakes. I've, I, I know we're talking about Evil Dead and some people don't like when we're yakking, but like, do we really need a, a remake of one of the most terrifying movies documented in cinema? You asking me or telling me? Um... <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't want to start a discussion on this. That's for another time. But my Before point is... Before we get into this final ranking here, yes. ranking and rating, I suppose, um, why is it Why is it that in both of these movies... 13 and Rise? Yes. Okay. The character who unleashes the evil and causes havoc for everyone, uh, both of them extremely remind me of you to the point where I was sitting there going... <laughs> I hate how you. Can you. How can you do this to me twice, Dude, boss? I hate you. I knew the second... That I saw he was a DJ. I was like, he's going to be blaming me for this shit. Because <laughs> it's literally twice. I mean, because the first time is the big shaggy guy who's yeah. like, who's the pseudo intellectual fucking. And then he's, he's smart, but he's dumb. <laughs> exactly. You know, he's really intelligent, but he doesn't want to use it. It's the stri- <laughs> the, the vaguely lesbian looking DJ. I mean, oh, how did it happen I, twice? And I don't mean to be that guy, but I want to call this out as, a, as like an important move into the way that characters are structured now. This was a very modern film. Sure. Every, but it wasn't like annoying. It wasn't annoying at all, and that's that's what I'm saying. Like, this is a very important step into the well. Like, whether the one sister, the daughter, has short short hair, looks a little manly, could be a lesbian. Who cares, right? (laughs) I just say that because that's what they look like. But that's it's it's funny. But we have so many movies, Star Wars included, that shoves that down our throat. This movie was like, as you mentioned, it's a family of people. It's always about family. Family. And people, families are pe- crazy. People living in a modern age, dealing with modern things, and then getting possessed it's, by a it's fucking It's the same demon. thing I say with everyone. I loved is, it. Is horror I love movies that. always do that. Horror movies have always been ground zero for throwing everyone in there. Because anyone can be a target. Listen, evil's coming for you. It no doesn't matter, matter what color your hair is. Yeah, I really like and that. And while we on that note... The, how do we rank the blonde how, DJ? How do we rate movies on this fucking this absolutely is, off the rail show? Holy fuck! This has been a long time since I have done this. Literally, probably since October, right? So, um, we do two different rating systems here. That's you're extra. listening to Pick It and Flick It podcast. We pick a movie and then we watch it, but it's also a rating scale where we say pick, meaning this is a good movie to watch or flick. Throw that bitch right out the window. I guess you could probably guess what we're going to do for this one. And then we also, just for a little sprinkle on top, 1 out of 10. Yeah. Good? Yeah. A little rusty. Okay. I'm getting back into it. <laughs> Listen, I thought it was great. Fuck you. You were in there. Pick or flick, man. Well, definitely pick for oh, me. Oh, huge pick. This movie was fantastic. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. I'm just so happy to still report this movie doesn't have a... What? Can I say Evil Dead is the A24 of, of horror franchises? It don't miss. Yeah. No, that's a good point. It don't uh, miss. Um, Everyone has a little different it for what you want. And and you explained this really well because we have a friend who came with us and watched it who doesn't isn't a big horror mm-hmm. fan, but he likes horror movies. Like he's just adjacent. Yeah. yeah, he just doesn't know the the knowledge. And I think you explained it really well by saying like the first one was kind of like if a if a serial killer yeah. know, directed it. 
And, you know, the next one is kind of like, well, you have to find the balance because you're trying That's to That's where it kind of went more Hollywood-esque. Yeah. Right on the cusp of it. You got some more money. You, you got some more talent and technique and right. experience. And then the third one, Army of Darkness, was the big, um, I guess, studio effort, big universal picture. They threw $13, $14 million at it at the end of the day. That's no small potatoes for a couple of Michigan native boys. Yeah. Shout out uh, Michigan and Michigan State, which – Every we all. <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. Go ahead. We got all excited when we saw the Michigan State hoodie. We yeah, like, yay! yay, Michigan. <laughs> I was gonna say that I'm glad that this wasn't in Michigan, though. I'm not really nice change of location. I'm, I'm not I'm, thrilled I'm that down. it was in California, but we I, got we listen. We got 40 years worth of Evil Dead Michigan yeah, ism. Michigan in, in, filmed which in New Zealand. Has, I don't think, aside from the first one, has ever been filmed in Michigan again. No, never. Um, which is fine. Um. But yeah, no, it was neat. I like I said, I enjoyed the the change of concept, change of pace, some new lore stuff. Uh, Alyssa Sutherland is the name of uh, Allie. Okay, um, she's the creepy mom, sexy mama, deadite. Oh, she was fucking freaky, um, man. I'm I'm on board with her all the way. She's joining the ranks as uh, uh, some of my favorites of this fucking universe. Um, shoot, I just had the I just had the thing open, and Lily Sullivan is is also great. The little kid's great. Uh, I really liked it. I don't know about a rating yet. This one I'm going to have to put a, an asterisk on. I, I can't. I, I got my rating. I, they'll then lay it on and me. You, and you can do your asterisk. That's fine. Uh, if you want to know what Luke gives this movie later on, be sure to check us out on Letterboxd. Deal um, with it. And you can find all of our ratings and all the shit that we watch. Okay. One out of ten. I'm just kidding. <sighs> one out of ten. <laughs> um, dude, I think I'm going to give this one an eight. Whoa. This uh this one had the balance that I was looking for. Okay. Now mind you, I want to remind everyone who is who has seen can, can my you, Can you put your hair over one of your eyes? Yeah, I just want to be edgy? a little edgy. Um edgy 19-year-old Vox in 2013 when he saw this movie or I'm sorry, saw Evil Dead 2013. Correct. Rated it. You didn't have a time machine. Yeah, I didn't have a time machine. Uh 10 out of 10. Yes. Okay. A perfect rewatching picture. it. Yeah, rewatching it this morning. Yeah. Although still a fantastic movie, mm-hmm. it has its issues, it has its flaws and yeah. I blame Luke for making me a little bit more keen to my rating system. Fiddlesticks. I gave it a 7. Okay. So Which this is what is, I have it as also. Yes. And I really like it. So this is dinging just above mm-hmm. 2013. Well, that's kind of what I need to think. It, it, it's it's do I like it more or less than 2013? That's do a hard I, one. 7 or 8 is is where I'm kind of at, but I don't know for sure. I my argument in reasoning why I like this one just slightly better. Yeah. It takes itself less serious while having a good constructive film. Mm-hmm. Um, creativity all through this movie. Yeah. I mean, like we like we said, there's the shots, there's the yeah. shining elevator, mm-hmm. which they're saying you, you've heard several allegedly. times. Allegedly is the most fake blood used in, in a, a single, single scene. That's what I hear, but who's fantastic. to say for sure? Fantastic. Good stuff. Love it. Lo- I, liked it. I liked the blood that behind the buttons. That scene was fantastic. Very well done. Um, uh, that was another Freddy reference because remember the Dream I was Master just say, it came had out. that fucking elevator yep, shit. Yeah, I totally shout out uh, the horror show. The other, um, yeah, <laughs> the other thing was the shot through the door. Um, yeah, there was a, a a nice like five minute sequence mm-hmm. of everything happening through the fisheye lens of the door, which was really really creative. Very cool. I loved that a lot. Sounds were mixed well. There wasn't obnoxious fucking jump scares. There was great soundtrack and eerie. Some really like, nice gore stuff. Horror, horror sounds and aspects. If, if, if you're a, a fan of, of, a of that type on. of movie, you know what you're getting into. You're going to get all of what you're looking for. And, and, and I, I really appreciate it. I can't wait to see it again. Yeah, and, we're definitely uh, going to be another one. I guess a quick ranking. I, I think, got mine lined up. Yeah, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, Oof. Oof. 13, and uh, the Evil Dead. This one is, 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 is floating I got, in I the... I got mine ranked. Lay it on us. Um, I love Army of Darkness. Groovy. I love Army of Darkness. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to go Army of Darkness, mm-hmm. Rise, mm-hmm. 13, okay. 2, and then 1. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. I remember watching 1 and just being like, this, Listen, is, I'm this a Looney was a Tunes. classic? I'm a Looney Tunes kid at heart, okay? Yeah, yeah. I like when he when he smashes the plates and he does the somersaults. And, and the hand. He, and then he cuts his hand off. The hand. Right? That was a big one. But I remember just being like, this is a cult classic? Yeah. After I had already watching sure. Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street sure. and all that stuff. So. They got heart, and that's all that matters. Shout out Bruce Campbell and co. Uh, Lee Conan, uh, Amanda Sutherland, and, and gang. They're all great. Keep making Evil Dead movies. Say they're all great. Take your time you. with them. A decade is fine. Sure. A decade is fine. Take your time.
for sure. We had three seasons of Ash vs. Evil Dead in that in that time, so I was all set. There, yeah, you were taken care of. Thanks for watching. Drink lots of water, and if you find an evil book in an abandoned safe under a fucking building, don't read or record or put them on the on the fucking spinner. See ya. Or, or you could, because that's what I would choose. Twice. I know, twice. <laughs>